of two things can happen. Um, you can either get sharp pain during running um, in the time of the injury, or you can get a dull toothache, sort of dull pain afterwards. And that can occur either that evening or over the next few days. What happens within the hip is, the hip is basically a ball and socket joint. And if you've got a slightly egg-shaped oval hip, as the socket moves up into, as the ball moves into the socket, you can get jarring. That can cause labral tears or cartilage damage, and that can give sharp pain immediately at the time of the injury. With repetitive movements, you get swelling and uh, bruising in the area, which gives you pain later on. So you've got to be uh, quite careful of um, how much running you do and the sort of uh, activities and avoid injuries. There are also different distributions of pain and uh, hip injuries. So during running, if you get sharp pain in the uh, groin crease and the skin crease of the uh, pelvic region, that is typically internal hip pain. Some patients get pain on the outside, outer buttock area, and that can be a gluteal tendon pain or also referred hip pain. Hip injuries in running can occur if uh, one hasn't been uh, taken enough time to prepare correctly for running. So one of the key things is to make sure you have a good biomechanical assessment for uh, running shoes, insoles and preparation in, 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 in planning for the running time itself. So you have to make sure you go to a good running school, you get someone to look at how you're moving, how you're running, uh, so that you get good habits, you develop the right habits in your running style. Within the hip itself, there are problems inside the hip that can cause running injuries. There are problems on the outside uh, around the bone and around the muscles and tissues. Within the hip itself, sometimes uh, the ball can become a bit more egg-shaped and that can give rise to labral tears and injuries. Something like that here, you get an anterior uh, extra bit of bone which can jar up against the um, socket causing labral injuries. That's one another cause. If that's delayed, you then get cartilage lesions and problems with early wear and tear arthritis. Patients who uh, ramp up the running too far and don't address good nutrition and bone health can get stress fractures in the uh, femoral neck region sometimes. And also if you are imbalanced and your biomechanical assessment is not correct, you can get core gluteal tendon problems like trochanteric bursitis and ITB syndrome problems. I'm a big advocate of self-help, uh, so education and empowering uh, patients so that they know them the most about their condition, what they want to do, that's very important. So in order to try and prevent injuries, um, I think forward planning for the run is important, so making sure you have the correct gear, uh, you're in the best of health, you've got good nutrition, all of these things help. Having a good running plan with a 10% rule and building things up uh, slowly also helps. Also, not just running and being a dedicated runner, but actually having a varied exercise plan will make a big difference so that you need to keep uh, a low impact dynamic exercise regime as well as muscle and bulb toning. There's a lot of evidence that physiotherapy also helps in patients for prevention of hip injuries. And there's been uh, two very big publications in The Lancet and the BM British Medical Journal last year, which show that physiotherapy will also help in treating these hip injuries. Treatment is needed when patients basically hit a brick wall, when um, all the self-help treatment and conservative management uh, treatments have not really helped. If physiotherapy is not getting you to the goal, that's the time that a surgeon gets involved. A lot of the times within the hip, the ball and socket, the ball is supposed to be round and it's supposed to be moving in a, in a socket in an infinite way, but sometimes what can happen is the socket is, is either overhung or the ball is slightly egg-shaped and that causes impingement and jarring of the hip as it moves round and that can cause tears and damage within the hip itself. If this is left, it leads to premature arthritis, and that's a major problem. So coming sooner rather than later is very important. I am able to then assess this with an MRI scan, give you an idea of how much damage there is. We always do our best to preserve the cartilage and the joint for as long as possible, so we can address the primary problem by removing the bone, repairing the labrum. We also have our biological scaffolds and collagen scaffolds to repair cartilage 
and keep you functional and natural for as long as possible. Having the correct kit is very important. Having a good plan for running and a exercise regime is also very important. And then having good nutrition and general body health is very important. Those are really the key features. Not building over too quickly and ramping up your running exercise, listening to your body, being aware of any minor injuries and taking time to address those issues and actually having a consult sooner rather than later will also prevent hip injuries. Music